What's wrong with my sap? It's not as clear as it should be. Uh, when sap comes out of the trees, it should be clear like water. And the sap I'm getting has a little bit of color to it. It's a little yellowish or brownish in color. One reason why you get uh, a different color in the sap instead of crystal clear is that rainwater sometimes falls from the sky, especially when there's heavy rainfall, and it gets underneath the cover. You can see that there's a little bit of rainwater or maybe some snow melt collected on the cover. So we're gonna carefully remove this, making sure we don't get any of it inside of our bucket. You can see our sap's flowing, but when you look inside, you can see compared to our other bucket, this one is definitely has a little bit of a brownish or yellowish tinge to it. Before you even tap, if you look up the tree, there might be an overhanging branch or it might have a wound in the tree and the sap will bleed out of the wound, running down the tree, collecting some of that tannin or a little bit of that discoloration and then it gets inside your container. There's a big overhanging limb here. Sometimes the sap or the snow melt will drip and run down the tree right alongside of here and then it gets right uh, next to your spile and it drips in courtesy of the spile or courtesy of the bucket where it touches the tree. You can see this sap is all very clear. There's a little bit of ice in it. Another thing that happens is there's a lot of moisture trapped in the bark here. There's deep crevices. So when it warms up finally in the spring, the snow and the ice melt from these crevices, run down the tree and run down right onto your spile and then find a way to drip into your container. Normally sap, when it comes out of the tree, is crystal clear. It looks just like water. But sometimes you'll notice, you look inside and you can see it's got a little bit of a discoloration compared to normal crystal clear sap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a glass. We're gonna dip it down into here and we're just gonna sample what the sap is like, okay? It's all very simple to do. It looks pretty clear, but you can tell compared to our white bucket, there's a little bit of a tinge to it. So here you go, when you taste it, you can taste that the sap is still tastes sweet, it's not spoiled, it's perfectly fine. And when you add this discolored sap to, let's say, 50 or 70 or 100 or 200 gallons, you're really not even gonna notice that small little bit of discoloration on it. Again, so if you see some discoloration in your sap, it's probably uh, just a result of rainwater or snow melt getting behind or underneath the cover, running down the spile and into your container. It should be good, just make sure you taste it with your glass, make sure it tastes good, that it's not spoiled. If you have any sort of issue though, the smart thing to do is just dump it out, collect some other sap that'll be perfectly clear like it normally should be, and you will be fine.